G'day and welcome back to Brooksy's Car Restorations. Um, due to the somewhat unpopular nature of the uh, Beetle videos, uh, this will probably be the last one on Beattie. Um, I'm not sure why um, Beetle fanatics seem to love the really, really old school Beetles with the small windows and what have you. Um, I personally prefer the larger window ones just because they because you can see through them better. Um, also, the the newer ones though. But the 70 model ones seem to go a bit better with the 1.6 dual ports and all that fun stuff. Um, anyways, each to their own. A beetle, a, beetle, a beetle is a beetle at the end of the day to me. I love them all, um, whether they're newer or older, but I get it. There's beetle videos everywhere over the internet. My beetle's not that spectacular according to some people. But to me, she's everything. I absolutely love her. And um, as car guys, we can all relate to that. We have a special spot for certain cars and this and that and whatever else. Anyways, due to that, last the last videos barely got them 30 views. So due to that, we'll probably call it on the Beetle. But this video, in my opinion, will be somewhat spectacular. Um, because I'm going to cram literally everything into this video this will be the last video on the beetle so uh yeah she'll be she'll be put back together she'll be fully painted rims the lot everything will be done by the interior we'll have her back on the road hopefully it's like a plan i made to give her back before christmas so in today's video i've got or in today's part of the video i've got um an hour or so to um, it's Monday afternoon, it's five o'clock, six o'clock. I've got an hour or so to um, mess around. I'm going to clean the inner front guards, clean all them out, get the grease and that out of it, shoot some um, what do you call it, the black rubbery stuff underneath it, get it all cleaned up, get it, get it, get the inner guard painted. Hopefully, in uh, today's episode. If you missed out on the last episode, and because um, pretty much no one watched it, we got that done. The exhaust, which I think turned out bloody beautiful. You saw how dodgy and rusty it was. But anyways, um, yeah, is what it is. Don't know if I'm going to show much of the uh, inner guard process. I'll probably just give you this little bit now, and then afterwards I'll show you what it looks like when I've finished painting it, maybe. But yeah, anyways, intro done. Welcome back again, another day on the old Brooksy's car restorations. So on the last part of the video, I believe I was doing the undercarriage of the... They're all painted now on both sides. I've just about finished prepping the... Um, Outer guards, just got to sand all this back, finish welding up holes, sand all that back, um, maybe I missed a spot there, I don't know, anyways, and so yeah, the guards are good to go to paint, still got a bit of welding left to do on the car. Because I've been dreading and dreading putting it off. But yeah, these holes are still there. Got the windscreen wipers off now, getting them ready for prepping. Gonna sand them back. Let's start painting them. I wanna be painting the guards, the windscreen wipers, and the side of the car about the same time. And hopefully I'll get all this welded in today and we'll start the painting this afternoon. Fingers crossed. Um, so yeah, we'll keep you posted. Um, yep, that's pretty much it. And then, yeah, I'm still, I'm still trying to work out if I prep the whole car at once or if I just prep half and half. I, I can't really work that out at this stage because, um, yeah, I'd rather get all the dust over and done with in one foul swoop. So I may still be prepping the top half this afternoon instead of painting. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, slowly coming together. 
feels like it's taking forever. I'm sorry if I haven't got no video out in a while. Also want to give a shout out to um, my niece and my nephew, Scotty, if you're watching. Leave a comment. Say hi. And um, Imi also. Alright. Yeah. We're going to grind back some of that paint. Uh, so our welds will stick. And um, get ready to put our patch panel in. Oh, I did it the wrong way. Anyways, I may have to cut this up to fit too. But anyways, I'm drawing back the paint off this. Start welding that bastard in and um, yeah, get the rest done and hopefully get some paint on this car this afternoon. Alright, let's go live. Time for some bug zapping. Got a good few tacks in there. Um, anyways, I'll finish the rest off off camera because you don't want to watch an hour or two hours of me constantly welding. But um, yeah, you get the idea. So we'll weld all these in and clean them up. Put a light layer of bog over it if we need to. Probably more so on the on the door panels, not so much down here where it's not seen because the um a big what do you call it? Um, yeah, the side steppy thing will end up covering all of this, so won't see it all that much. Anyways, alrighty, we'll get back in when we finish this, and we'll start prepping the car. In the previous part of the video, um, yeah, saw me welding stuff. Well, I got half the car done, and then um, started getting too late. Didn't want to make too much noise, so. I'd already finished prepping the windscreen wipers and the front two guards, so went ahead and shot some paint on them. Let's have a look. The windscreen wipers. Mind you, this is just the first coat. But, I mean, so far so good. And just in case you're wondering, top half of the car is going to be white. So the red windscreen wipers are going to stand out somewhat because they don't blend in with the colour of the car, top half of the car. They're the same colour as bottom half of the car, but anyways, there's the other one. And then I'll show you, I managed to get that one zipped in, that one somewhat zipped in. And that one there zipped in. I've still got the other side. And then the guards. Done the first coat so far. And I really love this paint. If you've seen my older video, which some of you new ones haven't, um, I did it on the other on the on the two back guards, and they turned out unbelievable. 
they're covered in dust, but I'll fix them up eventually. And then this is the other guard. So I'll come back and I'll shoot another two or three coats. I'm enjoying this uh, particular paint, so I forget the type of it, type of it, but it doesn't requ doesn't require a clear coat. It's already shiny, and I love how the camera makes it look even shinier. And there's my beautiful wife water in her garden. So yeah, I'm gonna call it a day shortly. It's getting dark. Can't be making too much noise after dark, so we're doing quiet painting. Quick update on the uh, beetle. Well, not a quick one, but an update anyways. Um, so, the beginning of this video sort of come out around the start of December. Um, we've been working on and off on the beetle since then. Um, just so you get a rough idea of the time now. Um, it's now, we're in, well, we're well and truly into the new year. It's now the, I think it's the 10th today. Yep, 10th of January. Um, so, We've put about a month, well, not not fully put a month into this car, but it's been about a month since we started uh, working on it, basically. Um, anyways, what we're doing now is um, we're doing an engine, we're doing an oil change. Um, we also got new tuppet gaskets for it. So the two tuppets are there. Or the rocket covers, sorry, whatever you're gonna call them. And um, yeah, so we'll we'll get those off. We'll have a look inside the engine, see how it looks. I'm pretty sure it'll be nice and clean. Well, hopefully, not too sludgy. And then um, I got new new filter. Looks pretty cool. You don't see filters like this anymore. It's like a bloody Alright, so video died, but anyways, I was showing off my tea strainer slash oil filter, which is pretty cool. Right, Dad, helping us today. Hello. Um, g'day. Means good day. Good day, mate. Um. Very Yeah. So um, gonna get into it. He's um, doing. Mechanically stuff, I'm doing body stuff. I finish, I've been slack, I know I've got to still finish welding all these holes. Um, I'll get smashed into that today. I've had um, the kids on holidays as well as constantly working and whatnot, trying to not to be selfish and spend all my time doing my things, trying to give the kids stuff to do and go on camping and all sorts of fun stuff. So, yeah, with that, we've had a great time, so can't complain, but. Haven't had a lot of time to do stuff, unfortunately, or done stuff. And plus, I've been play making plenty of excuses, too. Anyways, new year. Time to get into it. Right, so we're just getting the filter out now. Cover plate. Is it off? Oh, there's the cover plate. Cover plate. I can't even see your hands in the way. <laughs> yep. Cover yep. plate's off. Yep. Um, yeah, Could you see any metal or anything on it? I'm it no looks idea. a little bit sludgy, but not too bad. How's the gasket look? It's okay, the bolts are only finger tight, so. Yeah, that's probably why it was leaking. Some of the gasket, trying to get it off. Has he got a new one, anyways? Yeah. And each one of these bolts has got a. Fiber Where's the rest of the bolts? They were nuts. I dropped those. They were nuts. They yeah. had snapped off at some time and had studs put in. Right. And I, they slipped through my fingers. They're in the oil. I've got to get them out. Okay. So they're in the pan. Yeah, they're in there. Bugger. Bugger indeed. Okay. I don't know. It doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look too bad. You can actually see through it. I'd good. say it wasn't done that long ago, honestly. Hmm. It should be full of crap. It's it's not real gunky or anything either. I'd say no. this engine's been well looked after. 
Yeah. Check it out. I'm looking at it. Mm. Do we want to try and save that one or just throw the new well, one in? It's supposed to be able to wash them out, so there's no reason why you can't. The new one's a bit crushed. Where in yeah, is it? Is that holes in there though? No, it's just oil bridging over the field. This one's a bit crushed too. See how it's got oh, like nothing, that nothing, indent? Oh, that, that's, that's just uh, been moulded that way to make it stronger. The new one's got a crush on the side. It's been damaged in postage. I reckon we'll wash this one out and reuse it. Righto. Sounds good. I'll keep the other one as a spare. Mm. Okay. I'm not throwing away a perfectly good filter. Mm. Alright, I was going to start welding, but my young fella wants to help, so we decided to um, paint some rims instead. When you're ready, sir, take that wheel off. Put it on nice and tight. Push it in. No, stop, 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 stop. Don't, make sure it's pushed all the way on first before you press the button, okay? Um. Otherwise, you'll destroy that nut. Push it all the way in. Yep. All right, now you Stop, stop, stop. Okay, next one. Push it on. No. Do not press the button until... There, beautiful. Go. one tire off. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, just another quick update. Um, we've, well, as you saw in the previous video, Sun and I were um, starting to do the rims and tires. Um, so we got them off the car and then about five seconds into sanding them back, he got bored and ran away. But um, carried on. We've done the second coat now. Looking pretty good. I'll probably smash out the back ones this afternoon just because I've already started it. So that's a rough indication of what they look like before. And now what they look like now. And then you just imagine the silver Volkswagen, shiny silver Volkswagen uh, hubcap in the middle. And then eventually some white walls. And then um, Dad and I got the tappets off, well Dad did anyways. And he's starting to give him a bit of a clean up. Yep. So I was wondering the condition of this engine as we've never really pulled the tappets off before and um quietly surprised at the um condition of the head so far it's not sludgy at all, it's quite clean. This side wasn't really leaking, it was the other side. Um so yeah, we're going to clean those up, probably paint them with a, a nice um, white heated paint. And um, yeah, we had a blowout. Dad forgot to put the um, pan under the engine <laughs> and walked oh. away. But um, yeah, there's the second head. Super clean. This engine runs beautifully. There's nothing wrong with this engine. But you never know. It doesn't hurt the have a peek and see what the internals look like and it's I'm pretty happy it's pretty clean yeah and the type of covers were leaking so we had to put a new gasket on them so it is what it is um, we put the new filter in Hope you can see that too well there it is um, we did that off camera but we showed you what the other filter looked like we actually cleaned it up and put it back in because it wasn't too bad so I've got a spare filter in here now and um yeah, uh, I'll probably keep smashing this out over the next couple of days and um, hopefully I'll have a video out by Friday. I was, I was going to um, try and, I was going to try and um, get a lot of stuff smashed out the day and put a video up. But I was also going to try and get everything done all in one video but I don't think it's going to happen now and um, I need to put another video out so... Is what it is. So I'll be back again shortly with some updates. So unfortunately, uh, we didn't get nearly as much as we would have liked to have gotten done on the Beetle. Um, 
And uh, next week, I'm hopefully going camping with the kids, so I probably won't get anything much done on the Beetle. But um, let's just go have a re quick recap on what we've got done in this, uh, in, the, in yes yesterday or the day before. Um, so, we did the oil change. There's no longer oil dripping off the bottom plug, something. We still need to go over it and clean it because there's still spits of oil here, there and everywhere, which I'll get it to eventually. Took off the tappet covers slash rocket covers. Cleaned those up, repainted those. It's no longer leaking. From what we can tell, unfortunately, I might have to give these a touch up because when we were getting them back on these tender scrape, we've got that done on both of the sides. <clears throat> so, just to give you an idea, I've got the painted brim. I need to polish the Hub cap, but you get the rough idea on the baby girl. Looking a heap better, and um, yeah. So unfortunately, that's it for another week on Brooksy's car restorations. Um, hope you guys are having good holidays. Um, unfortunately, I, I just got to keep putting out, uh, you know, the vlog and whatever else. Otherwise, it might be another month before I get another video out. Um, so yeah, to be continued.